Hello, my name is Santana Mullins, and today we're going to discuss perceptions of does or kids, individuals who um, have articulation and phonological disorders. So if you're not in education, you're not a teacher, you know, or you don't have a, a child who has been diagnosed with a speech or language impairment, you may be wondering what is articulation and phonological disorders. Simply, articulation is an inability to produce sounds, and then your phonolo phonological disorder is going to be the inability to form sounds to produce or create words. And we see this a lot in education, especially, you know, I do as a special education teacher. Um, I'm more on the upper end, so I see those kids and I can usually tell if they had early intervention or if they not, did not have early intervention. And early intervention is very important for multiple reasons, but mostly, mostly self-esteem. Because when a kid is younger and they're in pre-K or kindergarten and they come with no early intervention and that you see they struggle, we always say, oh, it's just because they just can't make it right now or their, their language is still developing. They're still developing those skills. You know, well, in my land, you want them to be able to have that and to self-correct before they leave third grade. Because in, where I teach and in education, K through third, is going to be your younger elementary. Fourth through six is going to be your upper elementary. And with as you get older, more expectations come. So the same thing with your language. In K through three, it's cute. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. But once they get to four through six, it really takes a toll on them emotionally and physically and socially. You know, they struggle to find friends. Friends talk about them. Friends mock them. And so the m most important thing I would say is early intervention is important. The negatives, they get older. They don't have friends. They're isolated. The positives, you can fix that. You can correct it. It's better to start them early and try to fix it because as they get older, it's a struggle and it's really, really hard to fix that. So I'm a proponent of early intervention um, and let's make sure we are doing everything we can to make these kiddos successful.